Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. As you can probably guess, today we are going to talk about glue. All of the glue. Well, all of the glue I have. I don't have all the glue. Um, but I get a lot of questions about uh, types of glue to use. What do I use? Why do I use it? What's my favorite? So, let us tackle the glue situation today. I apologize for um, my tardiness. My I've been I've been MIA for a few days. Um, so one, I've uh, started uploading the video segments for the new class, and that takes well, it takes all my bandwidth. <laughs> and um, and then yesterday I had dental surgery, so the medication I'm on, it's not pain medication, because um, I told him not to bother. The kind of medication he prescribes doesn't work on me, so I said, I'll just take ibuprofen. Um, but he gave me antibiotics, because, you know, with my weak ticker, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to get, um, you know, a blood infection. So, <laughs> as much as I hate antibiotics, um, I take them when they, only when they are necessary. But oh my goodness, they wear me out. Do they wear anybody else out? I mean, like, like m my energy level is literally less than half. I'm just sleepy, and I'm not usually like that at all. It's not, not usually a thing I deal with. So, so I'm just kind of groggy and and sleepy. <laughs> So that is why. Um, so if I sound a little funny, it's because um, my face is swollen and and my mouth hurts. Maybe maybe that's why. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about let's talk about some glue. And let's talk about let's start with the start with some basics. How's that? Let's start with some basics. Let me let me set this aside. And we will begin with, you know, some rant, some standard glue first. Scoot all this out of the way. All right, so white glue. I get. I think this is on my. Well, this is a white glue too, I guess. Um, and make sure that's the lids are on really well. I really don't need glue all over the desk. So. These are your standard white glues. Um, I do use them all somewhat. I don't use Elmer's quite so much. It's not something I usually use a lot of, um, but I, I will use it. It's basically, it's watered down PVA, which is this. Um, they say it is acid free, so at least that's what the Elmer's Corporation says. It is acid-free, so it is um, okay to use on like paper items. It's just it's watered down, so it takes longer to dry. It has more moisture content, so it will cause more wrinkling of, of a paper product. So just be aware of that. Um, the Turbo Tacky Glue. Eh. Okay, so a lot of people swear by Turbo Tacky. It's okay. I'm just going to say it's okay. It's, I mean, it's white glue and it's probably, it's less, it's less watery than Elmer's. Like it's less, I don't know. I just, uh, I was not, um, wowed. It is okay in, in circumstances. I don't know. I don't use it all the time because I don't know. Like I said, I'm not wowed by it. It's okay. Um, this I have had and forgot I had it. It is a craft and fabric glue by Sobo. I will update you on this if I remember to use it. If anybody knows anything about the Sobo glue, let me, let me know. Uh, Mod Podge. Mod Podge is something I do use. There are some things about it that, that you need to be aware of, however. It is like... A PVA kind of except Mod Podge it can be like a finish like a sealer you can put it on top of things and PVA is just adhesive it's not meant to be a sealer so even though they are similar in in context 
they're they're different this is the bad thing about mod podge well i'm sure there's lots of bad things but this is the the thing that you know the stuff that i notice so mod podge is fine it has a uh, a high water content so it is prone to uh, making paper products buckle and wrinkle because um, the paper pulp will soak up the water and then that causes um, the the fibers to swell and so that's where you get the you know one side's dry one side's not and it just swells and warps right so and then another thing is that um, if you live in an area where you will have um, high humidity or even just normal humidity um, not you guys in Phoenix you guys are cool <laughs> um, if you use Mod Podge as a sealer sometimes it can stay like tacky like it's just sticky and that is because um, it is it's attracting the water in the air and because this is a water-based product it's like it's um like it can never dry because it always has this replenishment of water in the air. So a way to help combat that, and of course I did not, I did not bring it over here, but you guys will, you guys will know. A way to combat that is go ahead and coat, seal whatever it is that you want to seal, and then once it is completely dry, you take a, a clear acrylic sealer and Mod Podge does make one and you just give it a light coat over the top. You won't see or you shouldn't see the clear acrylic sealer. It's in a spray can. It's like clear spray paint kind of. Um, you won't see it but it will seal the top of the Mod Podge so that the water can't get to it because the um, the spray paint isn't going to react to humidity like that the clear sealer on top so that's a way to combat that especially if you're going to be doing like collage and stuff like that it's like it gets all sticky and you just, ugh, it's a mess um this is pva this happens to be line co there are several lovely brands jade makes a brand i mean there's several um, you can get um, PVA at places like Jerry's Artorama, Dick Blick, Amazon, um, Hollanders. So what, what this is good for is that it, um, it's permanent, it dries clear, it stays a little flexible, it's pH neutral, so it's, you know, it's acid free and it's archival quality. And so it's good for bookbinding and collage and crafts and all kinds of things. Um, it's, it can be expensive if you buy it in smaller containers. I buy it by the gallon just because, well, I'm going to use it. <laughs> I'm going to use it all. Um, and it's much less expensive. It's, it's no more expensive than Mod Podge um, if you're going to be buying it by the gallon anyway. So that is here. Uh, I think I have it on my Amazon favorites page. So if you can't find it in your area, um, the link to my Amazon favorite supplies is underneath um, my videos. So you can, you know, you can check it out. All right. Scoot away, scoot away. This is also a white glue. This is weld bond. And basically this is a very, very thick, um, white glue and it it really is a nice glue it's great for um for all kinds of things it says it's for wood tile glass foam stone ceramics um, i have not used it on those <laughs> on those surfaces i have used it um on chipboard and that kind of thing it has a lower water content so and it does dry clear so um, maybe not quite as much buckling as like Mod Podge would give you warping. But this stuff, because it doesn't have much of water content in it, it gets thick and it will dry on you super quick. So you have to use it just in small little areas at a time. Or, you know, you put it over a big old area and then you go to put something down and, you know, half of it's dry, which is, you know, shoot me, right? And then we have yes paste 
And this is supposed to be a, you know, all purpose, you know, like a paste glue. Um, a lot of people swear by it. It's okay. Me, it's okay. Um, it says it will not wrinkle. It does. <laughs> Maybe I'm using it wrong. Um, it will wrinkle your paper. I don't care what they say. Um, sorry, sorry, yes, paste. You wrinkled my paper, um, but it, it doesn't wrinkle it any more than, you know, Mod Podge or anything else or, you know, PVA or any of those. Um, what's nice about this is that um, because it is in a paste, it you can put it where you want it. It's not going to run all over the place. So it has, um, I don't know, it has its qualities that you can use it for. Just don't, don't expect it just to not warp anything you put it on because it can. It can. It can. But if you use it in little areas at a time and don't put too much on, that's one of the things that causes a lot of, of wrinkling and warping, just FYI and buckling, is if you use too much, like, if, I mean, you're slathering it on, all that water has nowhere to go, so it soaks into whatever you've put it on. But if you use just enough, just what you need um, to adhere something, you're going to have much, much less trouble with that. Um, let's see. So we have like acrylic mediums, like this is a matte medium. Um, so you can mix these. Of course, these are not technically an adhesive. They are made to mix with acrylic paint. Uh, so, but you can use it as, as kind of as an adhesive. So like in collage, you can use it for collage and sticking things together. And then you can also use it like a sealer over, over the top of it. Um, but when you use it as a sealer, it's going to have a similar problem that the Mod Podge does and it could stay tacky. So again, I recommend giving it a coat of the clear, um, acrylic sealer over the top to, to seal that, seal that in. Okay. Um, rubber cement. So this is also acid free. It's supposed to be really good for photos. Um, it does dry clear. It's, it's gooey and rubbery. Um, it does have its, its pros. What I do like about it is that um, it's not going to wrinkle stuff, but it doesn't go on real smoothly either because it's pretty thick and viscous. Well, it's boogery. So it goes on like, you know, it goes on like boogers. You know, and I'm just, I'm drooling it all over the, my desk now. So it goes on, you know, it's, it's gooey. It, it, it's, you know, it's like, you know, when your toddler has allergies, you know, it's, that's what it does. Now I have to get a, so as long as it's new, I guess as long as it's newer, it does go in on some semi, semi smooth. It's not, it's not super, super thick until it starts to dry and then it gets super, super boogery. But I like to have rubber cement around because I don't know, it's a standby and there's all kinds of, th there's all kinds of things that, you know, you can use rubber cement for other than photos and, and, and that kind of thing. I don't know. I kind of like it. I keep it around. Um, how about the infamous Fabri-Tac slash Fabri-Fix, depending on where you are and where you're shopping. Beacon makes the same, it, both of them. Beacon makes Fabri-Tac and it makes Fabri-Fix. And then it also makes this one, as you can tell in the same bottle, just a different label, same colors on the label, just a different label. And this is their three in one advanced craft glue, which usually like at Joann's, this is a like $3 less a bottle than, than this. And I will swear by all that's holy, I can't tell a difference in between the three of them. I don't have a, a bottle of the third one. I must have tossed it because it was empty. I, I, I don't, Beacon, if you have an answer, I, I don't, I swear it's all the same thing. I swear it is. It smells the same. It works the same. It dries the same. It looks the same. I, I don't know. 
I don't know. So use them all interchangeably. That's what I do. What I like about these adhesives is that they are acetone based and not water based. So it does not buckle and wrinkle paper type substrates like uh, the PVA, the Mod Podge, you know, the, the white glue, um, because it doesn't have all that, all that water in it. Um, it's hard though to get, because you can't smooth it out as well. This also dries very fast and it's very gooey. So it's kind of like rubber cement and that you, it's hard to smooth it out like on a big area. You have to like do a little tiny bit at a time and, and really smooth it out, put that part down, then glue some more. Because if you try to do a large area, it's, it's just gonna all dry on you and then it's worthless. Okay, so I love YooHoo glue sticks. Love these things. They are, they're great. They are great. Thank you, YooHoo. Um, they, they adhere real fast. They grip really fast and they're nice and strong. I really like them. And then you have your Elmer's. This is a repositionable, which I've told you guys before, I bought this thinking that it was just a regular, you know, cause in very teeny, teeny, tiny letters, it says repositionable. And I just didn't see that part. And then I'm like, okay, you are worthless. You have one job, but I understand that it's repositionable for a while and then it's not repositionable anymore. It will glue it down. It's just, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for you because I feel like if you're gonna glue something down, you better commit. So, so I use the YooHoo sticks. I adore these things. They are kind of expensive if you buy them one at a time, but I found on Amazon, again, on my favorites page where you can buy six, 12, whatever. It's so much cheaper if you buy like a little box of them. They're great. And kids love these too. Love these, recommend these. Okay, now what else? What else, what else? Um, there's hot glue, always a good choice if you need instant gratification <laughs> and glue something down. Hot glue is a strong glue most of the time, unless you're gonna be gluing on so sometimes things that are going to be flexing and, you know, it can, it can break the, the seal between the hot glue, especially if it's a non-porous uh, substrate, it can break the bond. So hot glue is great, but not in every case. And then we have our specialty glues, like the Glossy Accents, which is not just an adhesive but it's also like a almost it almost dries like a resin so you can make um you can make little clear glaze gloss you know bubbles over the tops of things um, it's three-dimensional so it it will dry as a bubble if you drop a drop it will dry as a drop which is nice um, i love glossy accents thank you ranger and then we've got super glue which sometimes it's super and sometimes it's not but you know you got you got to have super glue around my husband swears by gorilla um it's okay it's all right um it does a good job um the only thing is is that it takes a while for it to like really grab so you'd think it would be like instant and it's not it does grab like it'll hold but we're talking, it takes, it takes a while for it to actually like cure up and dry. And so yes, I do like Gorilla, but only if I'm going to be able to leave something overnight and not, you know, be working with it anymore. Um, same thing with 9-1000 or E6000, same thing. And then also Beacon makes this 527, like a multi-purpose. And this is supposed to be like a fix-all kind of Gorilla contact adhesive. So like it, it, it's fine. It just, it needs a while to like figure out that it's actually going to, you know, stay there for a while. You know, you think it's there and, and then it moves and then you're like, what? All right. So is that, is that all the glue? I think that's all the glue I have. Let me tell you my favorites. I will tell you my favorites. So glossy accents. Yes. I will always keep this around. I keep this around because 
let's say let's say I've got um, let me grab this right here here is a little um, book plate that I I busted out of my um, Tim Holtz book plates and die set he doesn't make this die cutter anymore why Tim why did you stop making this it's like it's like the the unicorn of of dies it's like why would you stop something well it's probably wasn't you Tim it was probably the company that you know Sizzix it's probably their fault so Sizzix why why would you discontinue something that was so popular I it's ugh. why do people do why do companies do that it's just really it's irritating right it's irritating it's like you find like your favorite chapstick and then psh, and they stop making it and you got to go find another one right the only bad thing about this is that the the edge of it does uh like it'll dry up so you got to keep a pin in it or something to keep it from uh clogging the clogging the end okay so I have this little book plate and let's say I don't have any little brads or I don't want to shove a brad through something because I don't have anywhere for the legs to go. I just want to fake it. So I will just put a drop after I get, after I glue my, my book plate down, I will just add a little drop of glossy accents. Uh, Mod Podge makes uh, a dimensional two. What's it called? Magic something magic. And it will dry. Now I got to pick this up carefully. How, am I, how are you going to do it, Nick? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. So, let me see if I can show you. See the little bubbles? See the little bubbles? Aren't they cute? So they will dry, and then you can use just a little dab of paint and paint over them black, or if you have like some gold paint and you want to make them look gold i love gold then you faked brad heads what what I think that's you know one of the best uses and it glues down like metal things really really nicely so glossy accents yes that is a definite yes the yoohoo stick is also a definite yes i always keep these around um as much as i love and hate all things beacon <laughs> sorry beacon i'm not like throwing shade um i cannot do without one of their glues one of their acetone based glues what's nice about this is if it starts to get thick and gooey because it will you can thin it down with acetone you know regular fingernail polish remover Ooh, i have to have pva i have to i have to my world would not exist without pva so 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 this and then as much as i hate it i'm just gonna have to say mod podge you just have to know what you're getting into. You have to know that if you're going to use it as a sealer, that you're going to have to seal over the sealer, right? You're just going to, you have to. So if I could have no other glues except for five, this would be the five. This would be, this would be my five. I think if I had to choose, like if I couldn't have a Yoohoo stick, it would probably be a glue gun, I would think. Because a glue gun's going to be a close man that that is like the glue gun because if you need to glue something fast i don't know kind of i don't know kind of makes me happy i'm just gonna say it make it makes me happy so i will say that the glue gun's gonna be a very very close contender on the five here so these are my six <laughs> my indecisive six sorry my i'm sorry i'm the you know the loopiness from the pain. Sorry, it's, it's, it 
taken me a second to, you know, gather my thoughts and express them. So anyway, this would be my top. These are, these, these are the top glues that I really do not want to do without. Some of them need brushes to apply. Some of them, you know, you can just smear it on. So they're great. All right, guys. Well, that is my quick video for today. I hope it helped some of you out who were wondering about adhesive and um, why I use it, why I wouldn't use it for certain things. What are some caveats that you need to know about? Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I will see you all really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys.